Hi, this is Kaleem of MarketPhotography.com and I put together this video because I wanted to provide an update on a major mistake that I made about 18 months to two years ago. You might be asking why would I want to give you an update on a mistake? Well, I'm going to show you some results that the results are pretty good but I made a mistake in judgment in terms of what I put together and shared with some friends of mine that the results turned out much better than I thought they would but I was not able to share that with the friends of mine. These friends are subscribers to my newsletter. I have a photography newsletter about marketing photography, how to start a photography business. The uh, URL is below but you can, if you don't subscribe already you can subscribe there. But I surveyed subscribers to the newsletter and I asked what is it that I can help them with and based on the responses I found out that many photographers or those photography enthusiasts wanted to learn how to market themselves, market their photography and market their photography services and so that's what I thought I, that I could offer and so I set about creating a course on how to build a photography website. You see, I bring some skills and some success and some results in marketing a website. And that's what I wanted to bring to photographers because it doesn't cost a lot and the results can be overwhelming. And so what I did was I set out to find out what were the best practices that I used in terms of building successful websites. Now, MarketPhotography.com is one of the highest rated photography related websites on the internet today. I wish I could tell you that that was the first photography related website that I built and I knew it was going to be as successful as it is when I started out. But that just isn't the case. In fact, that website is about the fifth or the sixth photography related website that I built. I have others now but I really didn't learn how to put the pieces together to make a, a website responsive until I, I built about the fifth or the sixth website. I took what I learned, threw away what wasn't any good, but what was good in terms of building a responsive and effective photography website and I built a course. And I shared with these subscriber friends of mine where they can get the course at www.howtobuildafotographywebsite.com and if you were to go to that site as I instructed people to do they would get a free course on how to build an effective photography website. Well I had anticipated that I would get questions as they got into building of the website and the promoting of the website but I got nothing and so that's where I said I made my mistake I had anticipated that that's what many photographers that subscribed to my newsletter wanted and that's why I put together the course very effective course and I'm going to show you why I say that in a minute but I had also anticipated that at a certain part of the course they would ask more advanced questions that would fit their specific needs. And so you can visit the course anytime at www.howtobuildafotographywebsite.com. And if you follow those steps, because those are the exact steps that I follow, and in establishing that particular course, I bought a domain and I showed those who followed the course. How I, gonna, how I built a photography website that can be found locally. I live in Long Beach, California and so I wanted to build a specific website that can be found locally for the photography niche that I chose to market. In this case my research says since I live in Southern California many people have a need for headshots, for portfolios and the like. So I developed a website called Long Beach Headshot Portfolio. The point 
I wanted to update. If you go to Google or really any search engine, but let's stick with Google, and you type in Long Beach Headshot, well, my website comes up three, maybe four or five times in the first 20 search results on Google. And so when I say I'm giving you an update on a mistake, well, the mistake was building this photography, how to build a photography website course, because I thought my subscriber friends wanted this course, but as I shared it with them, their response wasn't yay or nay, it wasn't any response at all. I went ahead with it, and the steps that I followed got at least one of my websites highly ranked. As I say, longbeachheadshotportfolio.com is the website I built as a result of this course. I wanted to give a real example. Now, as you go to the website, you'll find that this isn't one of those flashy photography related websites. It is a real simple website, but it's optimized. In fact, when you go to Google, type in Long Beach Headshots, it comes in ranked higher than all the fancy smancy photography websites. Why is that? Well, that's part of what's in the course. Once again, the course is free. If you have a need for an effective photography website, I want to strongly encourage you to visit that course. www.howtobuildaphotographywebsite.com Keep your wallet in your pocket unless you see a tool within that course that you know will help you. If you don't think it will help you, don't spend your money. You could get a high rank website following that course without necessarily spending a dime. If, especially if you have a domain already or if you have a website already. But if you don't have one, you want to start from scratch, this course even shows you how to build a website with a free domain, free hosting, without all that crazy advertising that many free website services offer. Well, I think I've made this video long enough and I hope I've made the case. If having a, an effective photography website is part of your goals, part of your plans, I want to encourage you to visit www.howtobuildaphotographywebsite.com. You can thank me later. My name is Colleen. Thank you for watching. I wish you the best in your photography future.